Coming up next is DC News number 179. It's going to be an all Batman nah, 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 update. And we're going to talk about Batman number 28, which is going to have all sorts of big time revelations in it that you're going to want to have to check out. Also, we're going to give you some information on Batman Eternal and the fate of Gotham City during Batman Eternal. The future of Catwoman, which may or may not be connected to Batman Eternal, we're going to talk about. She may put on some weight. We'll let you know. Uh, DC is going to restart a defunct Bat book. They're going to bring it back from the living dead. And bring it back to the stands, and we're going to wrap it all up with a secret, secret, secret project from the, one of the best writers in comics, Steve Niles. Shut up! All that and more, coming right up. Here at Alternate Reality, Thursday is Ladies' Day. Every Thursday from 4 to 7 o'clock, all ladies save 20% off all their purchases at checkout. Little ladies, mom ladies, girlfriend ladies, wife ladies, older ladies, younger ladies, student ladies... All ladies save 20% off all their purchases every Thursday. And that's just another way your money works harder here at Alternate Reality. Comic Book Man and Bo. They're kind of cute in an insect sort of way. It's DC News. The last thing we are is half-baked. If anything, we're way over-baked. <laughs> DC Comic Book News, episode 179, The Color of Dumb. Hey folks, how you doing? Comic Book Man here. Welcome once again to my video audios. Bo! Bo! Yes. Bo! Yes. What time is it? DC News Time. DC News Time! You're Coming to awesome you from item. this place, Alternate Reality, which is located at the intersection of 111th and Kenzie in beautiful downtown Mount Greenwood. Do you have it yet? Alternate Reality, where all my new comics, especially my DC comics, are 15% off every day for everyone. What? In this Batman update. Batman! In this Batman update, we're going to start with Batman number 28. And in that issue, it was revealed that a year from now, Batman will have a team of female characters helping him, including who? Harper Rowe. Straight out of To Kill a Mockingbird. <laughs> who's using the new code name Bluebird. Interesting about Harper Rowe. They haven't Scott, got Bluebird yet. Scott Snyder says that she doesn't know who Batman is and doesn't care. She listens to the police scanners and shows up when he needs them. She has no interest in finding out who's wearing the mask. You can get the Good new 52 her. version of Stephanie Brown, although it's known as Spoiler. And you'll see a mysterious new female in the Batcave, which could be another version of Nightwing. Or Alfred and Drag? Or Al no, or Alfred no. and Drag. No, she's too young to be Alfred. And Drag. Or, or we'll find out what Batman does after he gets back on his runs to help relieve the tension. Who's to say? <laughs> Who's to say? You never know. Who's to say? Uh, Batman Eternal. Batman Eternal, the Batman weekly Eternal. series, the weekly book, the weekly coming. book that's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's not here yet, but it's coming. Tell me it's, it's coming. It's here. He's getting a prop. A prop. Prop. This is preview. Oh, man, 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 Eternal. Me work, this is the cover of the first issue, we yes, assume, yeah, although right DC here. tends to yeah. lie about these things. Yeah. Yeah. Liars! Anyway, uh, Batman Eternal Gotham City will be on lockdown, but why? Well, why? We'll find out when the series starts, and you're going, didn't Gotham get locked down before? Yeah, No Man's Land. Yes, so no apparently they're revisiting that entire idea where no one could go into Gotham and no one was allowed out. It's the new 52, where yeah, everything old is new. Because actually that never happened. It never happened, because it's new continuity. It's new. It's brand new. It's brand new. Uh, the future Catwoman will be in the future. In the future, I'm sorry. In the future, Catwoman will become what? The new kingpin of crime in oh, Gotham City. Is she going to get fat and bald? No, she'll <laughs> be fat and bald, and people are going, but wait a minute. Aren't she'll be really pretty then. She and Batman were kind of like a couple. Well, apparently in the future, not going to be the case. Not She's so going to hate him. Hate him. So apparently something terrible happens. We're going to find out. What happened to him in the pages of Batman, Batman Eternal, and the regular Catwoman? She's gonna she's gonna hate him like 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 Eartha Kitt hate Batman, or is she gonna hate him like 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 Lee Merriweather hate Batman, or, or uh, kind of like in a Glenn Close to Michael Douglas fatal attraction kind of way? Ooh, apparently. that was icky. That was icky. Uh, no DC problem. is going to restart Shadow of the Bat because they have the copyright to the name. Yeah. Shadow of the Bat. And their vital may include what? Alan Grant. Alan, Alan Grant. Alan Grant is the guy who worked on Batman for a while. He worked yes. in Detective. He worked on the Batman book. He did Shadow of the Bat. was basically a companion book that told you what other people in the Batman universe were doing while Batman was on specific adventures. DC's talked about bringing Alan Grant back into the fold because he's kind of like retired from comics, more or less. He doesn't work a lot. Yeah. And so when this book is brought back, because DC needs to get up to that 52 number that they keep talking about, they're about at 46 by now. Six or seven more books would help. Uh, but he'll probably be the guy writing it because he wrote the book before, and they want to keep him in. Okay. And our final story is about Steve Niles. And this may or may not be a Batman story because we, we don't, don't know. know. And the reason we don't know is... Steve Niles is working with DC on a top secret project. So we assume horror, because that's what Steve Niles is best at. Who? Oh, horror? Horror. Yeah. Horror. Yeah. Horror. Um, horror. Hmm. 
Horror. Uh, it couldn't be a revival of Frankenstein because nobody bought that book when it came out before. Well, that was Dark Horse. He's it picking was... his lip again, so he's hmm. thinking. You can always tell when Bo is thinking. He starts picking at that bottom. I lip. know. Hmm. Man bat. It'll be something, something with a horrific tinge to something it. Scary. He did Simon Dark last. Uh, yes, he did in Simon the Batman Dark. Universe. He in did the Simon Universe. Dark, which sold 18 or 19 issues, but didn't sell worth a damn. But it, it, it sold ran, three issues a month. It ran for 18 or 19 issues. After a while, I got the feeling it was probably a contractual obligation. We're thing. paying you so It has to run next number of that. issues or something. But that was his last foray into the Batman end of the DC. I don't remember that book. That book sucked. And that's it. We're done. We're finished. You're out of here. We have got no more DC news on that happy, happy note. But you can go to the store's website. Check out all the DC news that, that Mr. Happy here sends me that I post up there. Bo. Steve Niles, members of Steve Niles' family knew that book sucked. Please. So long, kids. Sarah first. No, Sarah's already left us by now. If you guys have any suggestions, feel free. Quite frankly, I'm stumped. www.myalternatereality.com Stop over the store's website. Check out all the news Steve Niles. That, that the babbling brook here sends me that I post up. And Be it's all next time. This is Comic Book Man. And this is Batman saying Simon Dark Reed. Thanks for all your help. Thank you for all your help. Bye! The Video Outhouse is brought to you by some of the finest people willing to work for free. This is a list of some of them. <laughs>